The Baylor Bears, 7-6 and six last year. Pretty good turnaround. Matt Rule is awesome. Incredible. As, absolutely incredible. Uh, against the spread, uh, building a team, building a program, etc. Look, they've got eight returning starters on offense, six on defense. Experience-wise, number four in the conference, number 41 in the country. They're over-under, seven and a half this year. Ooh, okay. Over is minus 145. Under is plus 125. So Vegas thinks it is more likely that they will hit eight wins as opposed to seven or below. That's right. Head coach Matt Rule, 8-17 and 17 in two years. Of course, that means that he went 1-11 his first season. Correct. Last year, completely turned it around, won a bowl game. Uh, yes, it was over Vanderbilt, but that's a pretty good Vanderbilt team. And at this point... What does that matter? Hang on, wait a minute. What does that matter? It, they both made bowl games. They're both smart kid schools. Hey. You got a point. You got a point. Look, he took over an impossible situation. Yes. Uh, but he took a 1-11 team to 7-6 and six in 2018 with a bowl win. Doesn't matter who they beat. They won a bowl game. Junior quarterback Charlie Brewer returns with wide receiver Chris Platt and a deep core receivers from the number 22 total offense in the country. But it was only the number 63 scoring offense in the country. I think that will improve this year. Number 118 turnover margin last year. Um, I think that's going to flip. Along with the number 86 total defense and the number 91 scoring defense, I think all of that gets better this year. I was just about to say, I think yeah. the defense numbers are definitely getting better. Too. Defensive end James Lynch. Uh, he will be a key cog in that defense. He is an absolute beast. Had five and a half sacks, nine tackles for loss. It is a physical team with skill players that look like Oklahoma and Texas. Right? The schedule is awesome this year. I think this is a a big turnaround year for them. I got them at eight and four. I got them five and four in the conference. They've got a tough stretch at the end of the year, but I love this team. I. I'll tell you this. I've got them starting out 6 0. Whoo. Yeah. Uh, I do too. I've got them beating Iowa State. I do too. I've got them winning at Kansas State, beating Texas Tech at home. And then I've got them losing at Oklahoma State. And then after the bye week, we've got, I've got them beating West Virginia at home, losing at TCU, losing to Oklahoma, losing to Texas, and then winning at Kansas. Correct. And that puts them at eight and four. I think that is a remarkable year. I think it is the I next think, step in the progression. I think we have the exact same thing with the same wins and losses. The the difference is going to come where it won't surprise me if they beat one of those big three teams at the back at, end at TCU, Oklahoma, and Texas. Now, if, if I mean, I, I know I know I two like, of those two of those are at home. I like TCU this year. But it would not shock me if they don't get their quarterback situation oh, fixed. Oh, no, yeah. that, that, Gary Patterson has to fix that. That's the road game. But the other two are home games. Yeah. And if Baylor is making a push for 9-10 wins, they're I mean, going to show up. That stadium's going to be rocking. Yeah. And they're a tough team. They, they definitely are. They, we we like Matt Baylor. Rule. We're Matt Rule fans. Now, you are. We're in on that. You are correct I was about shocked. That. I, I thought totally that we would be. Separate Quite a bit that, different huh? on that. Good job. 